Welcome back to episode 3 of creating our roguelike top-down dungeon. Last video we've got movement working with some basic animation. I want to carry on these animations now and start implementing a running animation. So we're going to start by going to our player, edit animations. I'm going to create four new animations for each of the running cycles. So I'm going to start by duplicating our idle writes and I'm going to rename this running writes. Now there's lots of things we can do to create animations. I'm going to show a very cheaty way today, and it's not the most recommended, but for today's example, it will do the job. But if you are looking at getting a really serious game on the go, looking at something that you are looking to release, then you are looking at doing some more professional animation, creating your frame separately, instead of using this method. So with that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this frame, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to go to my image points. I'm just going to change the Y to 96. This is going to change where the center of my image is and this is going to create a bit of a bouncing effect. So you'll see that when we test that a bit later. So I'm going to do the same for each direction. So I'm going to go rename running left. Same thing, I'm going to just duplicate, change the Y to 96 and then repeat. Okay, with all of those set up, the last thing we need to do is we need to right cl uh, click on any of the animations and just put the loop on. Now you can also adjust the speed. Now when you're doing the speed of the animation, the higher the number, the faster the animation, not the other way around. So make sure you get that right way around when you change those numbers. So we're going to hit X. And now that's set up, we're going to go back to our event sheet. We're going to take all the animations that we did last time, we're going to change these to run instead of idle. So I've called that run left, let me double check what I've called it in my animations. So I've put running, so I just need to double check that one and actually call that one running. Running left, running right, running up, and running down. So they're all set up, so now when we move, instead of walking, We've got our little running animations. You can see it just bobs along. So a nice little running animation, but we don't stop. So this is the issue that we need to try and fix now. So we're going to right click and add a new global variable. I'm going to call this facing. I'm going to set it to a string and we need a starting value. And I'm going to set this to right to begin with because that's the direction that my player starts facing naturally. So that's it up. We're then going to add a new event on our keyboard. Do is key down. And we're just going to pick a random direction. So left in this case. We're going to invert it. And then we're going to copy and paste this four times. Now we need to do the same with all the other directions. So what we're checking for here is that we're not pressing any of the movement keys at all. If we're not pressing any of those, then we can move to an idle state. Now we can use this to check and add another condition, see which way we're facing and play that animation. Or we're going to do something quite clever here as well. So we're going to add a new action, player dot set animation. And the animation we're going to choose is idle and facing. So this is going to combine the two strings together. So idle right, idle left, idle up, idle down. Now, the final thing we need to do is anytime we press a key, we need to change which way we're facing. So what we're going to do is add an action here, which is what happens if we move left. So system dot set value of facing, and this new value is going to be set to left. We've got this one here, which we're going to set value to right. This one is going to be up. And the final one is going to be down. And now we can test. So I've got my little bouncing animation as I'm moving. The moment I stop, we then go back to our idle animation. 
So at this stage in our game, we've got our basic level set up and our character can move around the level bouncing as he does. Hope you found this interesting. If you do, please make sure you stick around for the rest of the series as we carry on to adapt this game even further.